this is it. So what can I eat now? Living without dairy, soy, eggs, and wheat. That's right. No dairy, no soy, no eggs, no wheat in this cookbook. These recipes are healthy. Uh, they are delicious without compromising flavor. They're also low in fat and low in calories and sugar and sodium. So this book is perfect for you if you have challenges with food allergies as well as um, challenges with rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, um, high cholesterol, uh, as well as even thyroid disorder. This book is for you. It is also for those who are just saying, hey, I want to eat healthy, but I don't want to be vegetarian or I don't want to be, you know, on the strict, strict, no flavor type of a diet. So this cookbook is for you. Uh, so what makes this cookbook unique is the fact that um, every recipe in this cookbook has a full color photo. Look at that. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Every recipe. Now, I also want to tell you, because I'm a Louisiana girl, check this out. I have uh, about 50% of the recipes in this cookbook are from my southern roots. So you'll see greens and cornbread. Uh, you'll see um, cabbages as well as salads. And then you have chili and soup. And also there is a no shell fish gumbo in this cookbook. No tomatoes, no shellfish, none of that. So it's a very creative, you know, type of a recipe for those who have issues with, like I said, eating tomatoes or potatoes and different things like that. And I have fun things in here like the pancake sandwich that you see here. So I love this pancake sandwich. I eat it all the time, by the way. And the other thing that's unique about the recipe, as you see with the spread, each one comes with a story. My motivation for writing the book, you see you have a list of ingredients, you have the instructions, and then you have here the nutrition facts for each recipe. I didn't want to hide a thing. When I said this cookbook was healthy, I wanted you to know how much sodium. I wanted you to know how much carbohydrates are in these recipes. So I don't say, you know, just a pinch without telling you how much a pinch is, you know. So uh, so I would like for you to just check it out. Check it out and go to your nearest bookstore and ask for this book. So what can I eat now? Uh, also, you can uh, go to rondascooking.com wordpress.com to find out more about how to purchase this book online. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, email Rhonda, R-H-O-N-D-A at rondascooking.com.